hi welcome to so be christine in today's tutorial i'll be teaching you how to make this high low hem skirt with inverted box pleats i'll be showing you the necessary calculations you need to know when making an even inverted box pleats so if this is what you are interested in i will encourage you to sit back and watch this video to the end do not forget to subscribe hit the like button and do share this video if you do not want to miss upcoming tutorials from me on your notification bell so whenever i post them you will get updated and be the first to watch my videos thank you so much so here is the cutout flip for this skirt in the next few seconds i'll be showing you how to cut this out i'll be making use of a hard net for this skirt which is this net you're seeing that is laid over the skirt I have the shorter part which is at 20 inches and the longer part which is 35 inches. So here I have a plain paper. I'm going to fold this into two. This is the first fold. So let's say this is the fabric we are working on. Our fabric is folded into two like this and then you make a triangle from that fabric this way. This other part is the zipper allowance, which will be at the back, and this is one inch. So on the fabric, you measure out one inch for the zipper allowance. Next, we want to measure out our radius, this radius for this skirt. For this skirt, I just measured 23 inches since I will need more fabric for me to form my pleats. From the tip of this triangle, go down and mark the radius that you'll be working with. For me, like I said, I made use of 23 inches. So on my fabric, I marked 23 inches like this while turning my tapro. So if you want yours to be fuller and you have enough fabric for that, then go ahead and increase the number. After marking down your radius, connect all the points together to form this curve. From this curve line, take the length of your skirt, how long you want your skirt to be. So you are going to mark down that measurement on your fabric. For this skirt, I made use of 35 inches. So I marked 35 inches on my fabric while turning my tape this way. After marking, connect the points together to form another curve line. Cut along these lines, that is these two curve lines. After cutting, I'm going to roll this zipper allowance onto the paper beneath this one. I'll turn the back and do the same thing. After rolling this, I'll go ahead and fold the zipper allowance inside. That's the reason I wrote this line so that I will know where I'm folding. I'll fold this inward. This is into four of the skirts and this is into two of the skirts. This part is the center front. This is on fold and this part is the center back. This is where we have the zipper folded inward. On the center front, I came downward by 20 inches on my fabric. Now, this depends on how you want yours to be. So mark down your desired length. I used 20 inches then after marking, I drew a curve from that 20 inches to meet the 35 inches this way. After drawing the curve, I went ahead to cut it out. I'm going to open this up so you will see what it looks like. Next, I will fold this at the sides. So the center back will stay at the back and the center front will be in the front position. So you should have something like this when you cut your own skirts. Next is for me to pleat this. I'm going to be doing the box pleats on this skirt. So this skirt can be worn in two ways. 
you can wear it this way or you can turn it to the side next is to fix the bands to it now that i'm done showing you this on the paper let's move to our fabric now this is the fabric the exact measurement i gave when i was cutting out the paper was what i used for cutting out my fabric and i've gone ahead to sew the hard net into this as well as the lining i didn't use a full lining because i want the inner part of this skirt to be visible next i'll be showing you how to calculate the pleats for us to get the calculation of this plate, I will first determine how many plates I want in total. Now for this case, I want 8 plates in total, 4 at the front and 4 at the back. And I'm working with waist circumference 32 inches. Now what I'm looking for is the width of plates. How wide I want the plates to be, that's each plate so that is width of the pleat is equal to the waist circumference over the number of pleats the waist circumference i'm using is 32 inches divided by the number of pleats that i want and what i want is eight pleats in total so 32 divided by eight is equal to four inches that means the width of each pleat will be four inches so we now have the width of our pleats so i'll bring in a rough paper to quickly show you what this pleat looks like because this is not a knife pleat so i'm going to measure out four inches this is for the first inner fold i'll measure out another four inches this is for the middle and the last one is for the second inner fold so i'm going to label this one the second one will be two and this one is going to be three then i'm going to draw out these lines this number two is going to be the visible pleats while this part i folded in which is number one will be the first inner fold and this other side will be the second inner fold you can see the part labeled number two is showing the box pleats and when you turn it to the back you see the inverted pleats look at number one and look at number three they are the ones that will be folded inward while number two will remain opened everything you're seeing here is equal to one pleat that is the number one number two number three put together is what we give one pleat and number one two three is 12 inches each part is four inches right that is four times three four inches in three places that gives 12 inches therefore one pleat would use up 12 inches and i need eight pleats in total now if one pleat is equal to 12 inches if i'm using 12 inches for just one pleat then eight pleats would give me how many inches eight pleats will give me eight times 12 that is 96 inches so i'm going to be using up 96 inches of my fabric to get this pleat let's measure what i have because what i have here is not up to 96 inches first i'm going to mark out the zip allowance which is one inch then from this one inch i'm now going to take this circumference what i have here is 37 inches 37 inches times 2 would give me 74 inches so you can see it's not up to 96 inches but i'm going to look for a way around this so i'll be able to achieve these eight pleats that i want i'll be using the side of the paper to work on my own value now which is 74 i won't be using this 96 anymore this 74 is now the new with circumference 
okay so i'm going to minus the original waist circumference which is 32 from this new waist circumference and the result is 42 inches this 32 inches that i just minus is for this part labeled 2 okay so remaining this part 1 and the part number 3 initially i calculated 4 inches for part labeled 1 and part labeled 3 but since our fabric is not up to that then i'm going to reduce their value now this is it every part labeled 2 every part labeled 2 here okay i'm going to change this um number to alphabet so i'll be making use of alphabet instead of number so two will become b this is a for one two will become b and three will become c b is our center of focus every part labeled b would use up four inches and remember we want it okay so part a we want it part b we want it part c we want it all right but part a and c will be inside of b when making this inverted box plate you have two plates inside of one since we are giving 32 for part b then part a and c would have to share 42 that's the remaining 42 that we have here part a and b part a and c rather will share 42 inches so 42 divided by 16 plates now you know the reason this is 16 that's because part a needs eight plates part c also needs eight plates so divided by 16 plates each plate of part a will have 2.625 instead of four inches so a will now become 2.625 inches c will also become 2.625 inches but b remains four inches part b will give me eight plates and each plate is four inches so these four inches will be for the eight plates each round a i'm going to use 2.625 for the eight plates that is 2.625 times eight c the same thing y b is going to be four times eight I hope this is clear please if you are not cleared with what i've just explained feel free to ask your questions you can drop your questions in the comment section now b is equal to 32 inches that is 4 inches times 8 pleats a is equal to 2.625 inches times 8 pleats now a and c will have the same value and that gives 21 inches so we are going to sum this up to see if we'll get 74 inches 32 plus 21 plus 21 so all together this is going to give us one two four this is four and two two three that gives seven so we have 74 inches here if you want to draft an even inverted boss plate then use this calculation and you will never go wrong now that we are done calculating let's transfer what we have calculated onto our fabric i'm going to turn the zipper part to the back and this center part i've already notched this area so from this midpoint of the center front i'm going to mark that just to highlight that area next i will mark my value for a which is 2.625 next i'm going to mark the value for b which is four inches remember the value for b is four inches then i'll mark the value for c the value for c is also 2.625 after marking down the value of a b c i will repeat the process again marking a again i'll mark a i'll mark b then i'll mark c so this is how i'm going to mark onto my entire fabric a b c a b c a b c in that manner 
so for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to end the markings here so that i can quickly show you how to pin this i'll lift this part up and bend it to meet with the first marking like so then i'm going to pin this down after pinning i will pick the next marking and bend it towards the other side and i also pin this down so the pattern is for you to fold to the left fold to the right fold to the left and fold to the right i'll pick this to meet with this second pleat and i'll pick this marking and bend it to the other side so this is basically how boss pleat is done right now i'm done with the quarter part of this skirt so i'm going to measure this remember the quarter of 32 is 8 and what we have here is exactly 8 inches i'm gonna head to pin this all round and i will quickly measure this so you can see this is the half of this skirt and we have 16 inches so i've gone ahead to sew along the tip of this skirt so i can remove the pins i've also sewn my zipper to the back of this skirt next i'm going to fold this seam to knitting out the edges like i said i want the inner part of this skirt to be visible because this part of this fabric was what i used to make the blouse so it's a two-way fabric after knitting out the seam i'm going to use this horse hair some call it crinoline i'm going to use this to turn the hem of this skirt while sewing your horse hair onto your fabric try not to pull the horse hair do not drag the horse hair just sew it naturally over your fabric i'm done turning the hem with this horse hair see what it looks like I use my fabric to knitting out the edges where the two horse hair meets. Next, I'll fold this inward. See the way I'm going to fold this. I'll fold this inward and use my pressing iron to iron this. I'll iron round the hem of this skirt. Now, this is why I told you I've gone ahead to knitting out the seam. So I'll quickly do the ironing. After I iron this flat, I'm going to use my hemming glue. Now this is what a hemming glue looks like. I'll use my hemming glue to glue this horse hair onto my fabric. Don't worry, once you are done ironing, the hemming glue would melt because of the heat from your pressing iron. So it won't be visible at all. So I'm just going to place this in between the horse hair and the fabric when doing yours try to cut the hemming glue smaller than what i just cut because the base is not a straight base this is a circular base and i've gone ahead to glue my hemming glue and this is what we have a very neat finishing next is the band so this is the band and the width of this band is five inches when it's not on fold now when it's on fold it will give 2.5 inches and i'll be using up 0.5 inch for the same now take your band this way and fold it inside out so this part i'm going to close this up after closing this up i'm going to place my band inward like this now i'm i'm going to sew from the wrong part of this dress that's the inner part i'm sewing my band from the inner part of this skirt after running this round with my sewing machine i'm just trying to pin this so you know what i'm talking about then i'll fold my band towards the right part of the skirt you see what i'm talking about once this is folded i'm going to do a top stitch now this is what the skirt looks like. 